Following the successful launch of the Shenzhou 15 crew to the Tiangong Space Station in November last year, Huang Weifen, the chief designer of the Taikonaut system for China's manned space program, shared her thoughts about the mission in the command hall of the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. This is China's 10th manned mission. It is not easy at this moment. From the first launch in 2003 to the last launch of the space station's construction phase today, our manned space missions have achieved continuous success. As part of China's aerospace industry, I feel very proud. These could be traced back to almost six years ago, when more than 100 people began training for the missions on the space station. Four crews with 12 Taikonauts were chosen to take part in missions that began in 2021, with the launch of Shenzhou 12 and last year's launch of Shenzhou 15, which is now in orbit. When we selected the crews, we considered the features of the flight missions and their requirements on the Taikonauts. We also consider the individualities of the Taikonauts, including their compatibility, coordination, and their flight experiences. In the end, we decided the selection criteria and the four crews for the missions. I think the four crews have very good compatibility. They went through lots of trainings together on the ground, trying to fit in with each other in work and in life. They became very familiar with each other and had tactic understanding among themselves. And they have the common interests and topics when they're on the ground and in space. This is very good. When we selected the four crews, we chose two female taikonauts because they have very good physiological endurance and they have their own characteristics, like very good communication and expressing skills and long-term flight management. While the Shenzhou 12 and 13 crews were in flight missions, we arranged the following two crews to communicate with them. When the former two came back to Earth, we also arranged them to share experiences with the latter two. They passed on the experiences which are helpful to the next missions. Every time when I saw them off at the space mission launch sites, I was excited and a bit anxious and worried. In fact, I had such feelings for every time. But now, after the first and the previous missions, I have become more relaxed and calmer. China has selected three cohorts of taikonauts. The first two conducted space missions to construct the Tiangong Space Station. The third is still in training. The third cohort of our taikonauts will play a key role in the future flight missions of China's space station. The third cohort of our taikonauts include 18 space flight pilots, engineers, and payload experts. They are actively training now. After training for more than a year, the taikonauts of the third cohort will meet the standards in their physical conditions for future missions of the space station. They're receiving intensified trainings on their specialized knowledge and skills. They are actively doing that. I am confident in their capabilities and their physical and psychological qualities, and I believe that they could accomplish their future missions very well. China has started the selection of this fourth cohort of taikonauts. Can you share with us? The progress. We have started the selection of the fourth cohort. We are now proceeding smoothly based on our plan, which includes three stages. We are conducting the initial selection. This time, we will choose the space pilots from airline pilots. We will choose space flight engineers from aerospace-related scientific and technical personnel. And we, for the first time, will elect payload experts in Hong Kong and Macau. And the selection of space pilots is different from the past. In the past, we selected candidates from the Air Force. This time, we select them from pilots from the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. The process is going very smoothly. In 2023, China will also focus on lunar and deep space probe missions. And together with the manned missions for the Tiangong Space Station, China has begun the technology verification on manned lunar missions. Anything new about that, particularly in the selection and training of taikonauts in this sector? For the manned missions to the moon, we are also actively making relevant preparations for selection and training processes. We will need to analyze the differences in missions to the moon and in the space station in terms of the physical and mental qualities, the capabilities, the knowledge and skills of taikonauts. This is the first and foremost thing for us. Then we will evaluate differences of our current missions with those for the moon. 
We are doing these to find out what kind of new technologies we need to develop. We have been conducting research in the selection or training of Taikonauts. 2022 marked the 30th anniversary of the funding of the China Manned Space Program. For Huang Weifen and her colleagues, the path was not easy. Looking back at its beginning, everything was new for you, and you have no references at all at that time. What kind of difficulties did you and your teammates face to make the vision into reality? First, you need to be passionate about this cause. Devote yourself to it. Use your wisdom and hard efforts to solve problems one after another. You will always need to face new challenges, to overcome difficulties, and use down-to-earth efforts to gradually achieve what you want. We came a long way from nowhere to what we do now. Small becomes big. That's what we have been doing. The work of the China Manned Space Program has received accolades and has become increasingly popular, not only from within China, but around the world. For those who care and support China Manned Space Program, I want to take this opportunity to express my profound appreciation. Thank you so much. In fact, we are a big group and Taikonauts are the most distinct symbol of the Manned Space Program. And we are so proud to be part of it and support them to realize the space dreams. On November 30, 2022, when the Shenzhou 15 crew entered the China Space Station, it was a historic moment to see them embracing members of the Shenzhou 14 crew as they were transitioning in the spacious modules. <laughs> Yeah!